Hello and welcome to the second part of our Covenant Week of uh, ons Week van Toewijding. In part one, Jorina did a great job of reminding us that God has always planned to invite us into his covenant of salvation by faith in Jesus Christ. In this second part, I'm going to focus on the faithfulness of God and invite you to spend some time remembering how he has been personally faithful to you over the last year, uh, 2020. So I invite you to first uh, just pause the video and to read Psalm 57 for yourself uh, at least twice. Ek vraag dat jy die video uh, eers uh, stop en self Psalm 57 lees so twee of drie keer deur voor ons voortgaan. Okay, so I trust you've read the psalm for yourself and I want to now focus on verse 10 in the English. I'm using the NIV. This verse 11 in the Nieuwe Vertaling. So through all the turmoil and conflict in his life, David, David is able to focus on God, seeking God's mercy, seeking refuge in God, because David has first-hand experience of God's love and faithfulness. In verse 10 of verse 11, uh, praat hy van die Heerese liefde en trouheid. The Hebrew word translated as faithfulness, of trou, is the word emeth, and it's translated as stability, of standvastigheid, and it means to be reliable. It speaks about faithfulness, throw it, but it also has a big element of truth uh, in it. David is saying that in the middle of his own personal confusion and turmoil and conflict and an experience of loss, he is turning to God because God is faithful and true. And so I want to say to us that you and I can have certainty and peace going forward into 2021 because God is stable, unwavering, and reliable. He is getro. Friends, I want to say to us that our sense of security and safety, our sense of hope for the future, comes from our experiences of God's ehmeth in the past. I want you to stop and think about that for a moment. Our ability to trust God tomorrow comes from our experience of his faithfulness yesterday. And the more that we focus on his ehmeth, the deeper and stronger our confidence and trust in him will become. Our experience of God's faithfulness strengthens our faith. And the stronger our faith is, the more willing we will be to trust him and to follow him in the future. Ons ervaring van Gods getrouheid in ons verlede versterk ons eie geloof Voor en, toe. en dit maakt dat ons meer gewillig sal wees om hom te vertrou en na te volg in die dag wat kom. And so I want to invite you today in this second part of our series preparing us to renew our covenant with God. I want to invite you to spend some time in prayer. But before you pray, I, I ask you to, to first to take a few minutes to invite the Holy Spirit to help you and to take a few minutes to prayerfully reflect on how you have experienced God's goodness, God's presence and God's activity in your life during 2020. Who How has God taken care of you? How has he loved you? Which gifts has he given you in 2020? How has he given you these gifts? Maybe there are people in your life that are gifts for you. And so just take, some, take a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 
just to think back, allow the Holy Spirit to remind you, ask Him for help. Look back over 2020. and Where do you see God's hand in your life? And I want to invite you to make some notes, to write these things down. When you finish making your notes and you look at the list, how do you feel as you see evidence of God's love and faithfulness to you? Soos jy nou dier die lees kyk, hoe laat het jou voel om hierdie bewys te sien van die Heere sy hand in jou lewe, sy getrouheid, sy liefde persoonlik vir u? Hoe voel jy oor sy getrouheid in jou lewe? And then I want to invite you to pray. Take some time to talk to God. You know, think a little bit about what you want to say, maybe And then just take some time talking to him about what you've written down. Maybe you want to be saying thank you. Maybe you want to talk about how his faithfulness has made you feel. Maybe you want to repent of something and ask for forgiveness. Maybe as you talk to him, anxiety and confusion uh, comes out about 2021. That's okay. Just be real and honest with him as you pray. May God bless you in your time of prayer as we continue our journey uh, towards renewing our covenant with God at the end of the week. In Jesus' name, amen.